Welcome again to Devotion and Prayer with the devotional Prepare the Way by Joe Ingelkmeyer. Today's reading is January the 27th. How much more? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Luke 11, verse 13. As we mentioned yesterday, God answered super abundantly the earnest prayers for funds at the time the Voice of Prophecy Night Owl program was ready to be launched. And as we have also shared with you, efforts, efforts to secure 15 tons of food for use in Navajo land went far above the gold. But there is something we need far more than funds or canned goods. We need an outpouring of God's Spirit, exceeding abundantly above all that we might ask or think. There is a work for us to do in preparing the way. Note from inspiration these prerequisites. Our Heavenly Father is more willing to give His Holy Spirit to them that ask Him than, an, than our earthly parents to give good gifts to their children. But it is our work, by confession, humiliation, repentance, and earnest prayer, to fulfill the conditions upon which God has promised to grant us His blessings. A revival need be expected only in answer to prayer. Selected Messages, Book 1, page 121. Along with confession, humiliation, and repentance, a revival need be expected only in answer to prayer. We mentioned earlier this year the 7 and 7 prayer fellowship that was organized following a Bible conference. At one boarding academy, many of the students were at breakfast by 7 o'clock, said one student telling about it. When 7 o'clock came, you would see students at various tables pausing for a few moments to bow their heads and pray silently for a greater outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Jesus reminds us in the words of today's promise how willing God is to give the Holy Spirit to those who ask. Are we taking time to ask? Are we praying daily for greater outpourings of God's Spirit? If you can't pause for a few moments at 7 and 7, won't you find some time when you can truly pray? Can't we somehow put first things first? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Luke 11, verse 13. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you, praising you for being God, ruler, sovereign. Praising you for being a God of love, a God of peace, a God of justice, a God of mercy. A fair God, we thank you for your blessings you bestow upon us. We thank you for your goodness towards us. Thank you for all the things you've done for us. We confess, Lord, that we are mortal sinners, that we need, Lord, your grace, and we claim your grace, we claim your forgiveness, we claim the blood of Christ, we claim the Holy Spirit to abide in us and fill us and take charge of our lives every moment, every second of the day. Lord, we pray that you lead out in us, and that you do this work in us that you will, that your will would be done, would be sovereign. Lord, the request was made in 1972 for prayer at 7 and 7, and right now, as this recording is being done in 2015, the request is being made for, once again, prayer for revival and reformation at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Lord, help us to be able to get up in early hours and pray. Help us to be able to get up in the evening hours and pray to join the World Church and pray at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. 
for revival and for reformation. Lord, let this work be done. And once again, there might be some who really can't make the time, but Lord, let them find the convenient time or set a time aside or multiple periods of time aside where they can stop and pray and ask for that Holy Spirit to be poured out. Why let us be praying throughout the entire day. Let someone be praying for the outpouring of your Spirit. Especially when we consider a session is coming up. Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Let your will be done. Let it not be about man's intellect. Let it be about your will being done. The Holy Spirit filling us and moving through us. Once again, I remember earlier reading said, Reformation and revival cannot be legislated. So Lord, let us not do it because we're being asked to do it. But once again, give us that burning desire to pray. That burning desire to study. So we simply want to continue to claim that promise that you're not going to wake us up. Have us up at these hours. Have us alert at these hours to pray. And have us having free time at these hours to pray. Help us to remember to pray daily for the Holy Spirit. I remember your counsel from Ellen White said that we should, there should not be a single prayer we pray where we're not praying for the Holy Spirit. Lord, is that, it is that important? So Lord, give us the Holy Spirit. Fill us with the Holy Spirit. Give us that latter rain power. And once again, remind us of the things we need to remove that would be hindrances. Take them away from us. But give us the strength to have persevering prayer to pray for these victories, to pray for this work to be done, that your will will be done and the work completed and you will come for us. We thank you for the opportunity to pray. Thank you that Christ is interceding on our behalf. Thank you that the Holy Spirit is sending our prayers up. We thank you for the protection of these angels. And we thank you that you just love to hear us pray. This we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.